Hey folks, Ashley AllThingsEntry.com. This is a tabletop demonstration, so the wet tabletop demonstration of using rib on as an endodontic post. Compared to using a DT post or a prefab post, using a rib on, you're not you're using what's existing for canal structure. So you're not preparing the tooth any more other than what you did for endodontic therapy. We're trying to create a monoblock structure between the post and core, so not not we were not we won't have two distinct phases. We'll just have one, a monoblock post and core, similar to you know, if you think in your mind a cast post and core. And additionally, we're trying to reduce the amount of shrinkage of resin. So we use a composite resin into the canal, and typically with a DT post or a preformed post. The problem is, is that once it cures, there's a bulk. So it's a bulk of resin which will shrink. So it's going to typically shrink away from either the wall or the post. And I have a number of photos of my own experience of that. We're using Reliax Unisem in this case as the resin cement. So the next, so the first stage is we're going to be placing the rib on. I've measured it out. I want to touch it with my fingers, but you can't. So I'm going to take the rib on wetting resin, place it onto the to the rib on itself. It's a light cured unfilled resin. Don't do it too far in advance of actually placing because it will cure under the light. So once you place it on to the rib on, cover it, make sure it doesn't get uh, cured. I would next time place another have another piece of rib on ready. We'd have three strands. We'd have one long one like this one that you see in front of you and another shorter one which will also be com condensed into the canal. So at this point, cover this. I would probably dab it off a little more, remove some more of the unfilled resin. So you can see that there's where it says four on the piece of paper. That's a little triangle covering the, the rib on from curing. Now I prepared my Unisem, Relax Unisem or whatever resin cement. I have this nifty little elongation tip micro tip that I can place as apical as possible and although I want to place my cement as apical as possible the real key is during the condensation of the ribbon into the canal space because what I want to do is I want to have a, a ribbon dense a fiber dense structure with as little amount of resin in the canal that will prevent any shrinkage and increase the and the probability and increase the probability of having a better adhesion to the canal space. So like I said, I would dab this off a little more. Make sure you can see it's already light curing even though it was covered. It cures really fast. So I'd you could place a little bit of composite onto the placement instrument to better pick up the rib on. And now I'm just going to initially place it apically and then attempt to condense the remaining strand, remaining portion of rib on. You can see that I'm pulling back a little bit. It suggests a millimeter in the book, and then turn a turn a quarter of a millimeter, turn a qu quarter of a turn to disengage the rib on, and then condense more. At this point, I would take the second strand that I had mentioned and place that between the two, in an effort to not only increase the density of rib on, but also increase the number of tags. So I'd have another tag on the coronal portion which would help to increase the number of tags to bond my core to in an effort to increase the f decrease the flexibility of the core structure which is bonded to now my post which is now the idea is to have a monoblock structure so like a you know in review i like this because we're i'm not removing any more to structure in an effort to fit my canal to a preformed post and I'm trying to create a monoblock structure and a resin as well as a resin minimized resin in the canal and a, a fiber rich post increasing adhesion cheers